The 20-year project was born as a result of conversations with many of our members last spring. The questions were these. What does the fair of the future look like? And are we preparing for that fair? Or are we preparing our future fair to look just like the one we have today? We invited our convention attendees to pre-register for any of six different 20-year project sessions, then to come prepared for some intensive brainstorming. Each group was tasked with leaving the meeting with at least five key points. So sit back and watch what this 20-year project group dreamed up. Hey guys, my name is Dave Lidget. I'm from the Kern County Fair. I'm a director at the Kern County Fair in Bakersfield, California. Today we're going to talk about competitive exhibits and um, what's going to happen in the next 20 years. Um, competitive exhibits are an important part of the fair. We want to make sure that they stay in the fair, um, especially the traditional exhibits. We want to make sure that we keep the traditional exhibits of the fair in, uh, in our fairs. However, we do have to look at the next 20 years and say what's coming down the, the pipe for the next 20 years. Um, I think one of the biggest things that's coming down is cannabis, uh, not just smoke and pot. Uh, we're talking about uh, making things out of hemp, we're talking about CBD oils, and all the other things that, that come from the agriculture side, but also from the manufacturer side of, um, of cannabis. I think that's going to be a big deal. I think social media uh, is going to be huge, and I think being able to use social media to our advantage is even going to be better. Um, I think we need to come up with a plan to have the kids, uh, the millennials, have a um, way of knowing how to enter their exhibits into the fair. I think if we were able to make a 15 second video and explain real quick to the kids, to the millennials, this is what uh, you do to, to come into our fair. This is how you, you show what you like. I think that's really going to help us out. Um, but getting them involved and allowing them to share with their friends via social media um, what they like. So uh, allowing them to say, hey, I like this, and that may bring in more of their friends to um, support them. In addition, I think getting our local 4-H and FFA uh, leaders and our students in our schools to uh, really push the fact that, hey, bringing your stuff to the fair shows everyone what you can do. Everyone wants to be included. Everyone wants to know what they can do. I think that this is a great way uh, using these competitive exhibits. Um, technology is also a, a big deal. Technology, especially using robots, uh, robot competitions, um, and showing how they made the robots, showing how you, uh, how much time these kids put in uh, to doing robots and how they did it, I think that's great because that's gonna, it's gonna show people um, that these are the new things coming into the fair. And once again, I, I really want to stress that we want to keep our traditional values. We want to keep what we, what we know, what we like, because uh, that's not going to go by the wayside. We just need to be uh, good stewards of what we have. Thank you very much for your time.